So here we have uh, Brother Javi's entrance into the Micromotor class. Uh, this one is the R3 Returner 1106 5100 kV. They do have one, one other version uh, with a higher kV. I think it's uh, 7000 kV if I'm not mistaken. It was somewhere on there, 7000 or so. Uh, so this one, uh, this was sent in by Adam uh, TFC from RC Groups. Uh, thanks for uh, loaning the motor for testing so it comes as you can see pretty enough uh, length of wire uh, that comes with uh, about 160 millimeters worth of wire so that's that's pretty good and this looks like it could be 26 gauge maybe 26 gauge wire is more than adequate uh, pretty flexible wire too uh, so one thing I want to mention is that this, in these size motors, uh, pretty much all the 1104, 05, and 06s, the shaft is just pressed into the uh, the bell. Uh, so what happens sometimes is they they back out when you're mounting props that have too small of a center hole. Uh, as you keep pressing in, uh, it it pushes the shaft back, and you end up with a vertical vertical play. Some props are tighter than others, like the Gen Fan 2035 by 4 is was really tight, and so was the Furious Fleek. That was really tight. So, uh, so I actually ended up uh, backing out the shaft and a couple of motors, uh, and that was the reason. So, in the conversation uh, on the SpinTech uh, video uh, video review, uh, somebody mentioned that. Uh, that what he, what ha, what he has been doing is uh, he's been enlarging the the center hole using a 1 uh, drill bit uh, this one's kinda hard to use because it's so the diameter is so small you, you can't really turn it so the one that he recommends is uh, what's called a, a hex shank 1 uh, drill bit and the hex shank is uh, has a larger uh, portion here where where the drill grabs it so uh, uh, just look for it it's a uh, it's called a hex shank so I went ahead and tried it and it uh, sure enough that's that's the way to go so uh, just kind of you just with the hex shank it, it'll be like really easy to do by hand you just just do it like that and it enlarges it to 1.65 I believe it is, 1 16th, uh, 1.65 uh, millimeters equivalent and these shafts are about 1.5 millimeters so when they're too tight and you enlarge it to uh, you enlarge it to 1.6 then it, it's just so easy. They're so easy to to mount. It just they're just going really easy. See? They fit a little bit loose, but it 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 doesn't matter because it's the uh, the two screws are the ones that uh that matter. Those two center the uh, the prop anyway. So so the middle hole is just it's really not not useful. So. On this prop, uh, this is the Roller X. Uh, it's not not bad, but uh, on those other ones, it was really tight. Anyway, so that was a tip uh, from the YouTube viewer. Uh, pretty good tip. So I went ahead and pinned that uh, that comment on the video because it's pretty useful. So I already uh, ordered the shank uh, drill bit. All right. So uh, back to the motor. Uh, so this one has a, um, as usual, the uh, four holes there for the props, and the actual shaft. Uh, it's it's actually 1.5 all the way through, so it's 1.5 millimeters uh, through the motor as well. So that's 1.5, 1.5 millimeters. And uh, uh, yeah, pretty pretty good uh, pretty good construction uh, as usual from Brother Hobby. 
uh, magnets are a little, I want to say they're a little bit thicker than than most other 11 oh five or 06 size motors that I've seen uh, let's uh, look at it on the uh, magnifying glass so we can have a better look so there you see a uh, pretty pretty neat windings I believe these are supposed to be 1.5 millimeter laminations and the stator it does measure uh, stated the six six millimeters right right on the dot so no surprises there as usual with uh, brother hobby uh, windings uh, they're pretty pretty neat and there's the bell as you can see the the shaft uh, the shaft on all these motors all the 1104 1105 and 1106 is just pressed in so so sometimes they'll they'll back out so it's good to enlarge that center hold on the props when they fit in too tight and let's uh, put it together I'll weigh it and then we'll see what uh, what it does on the thrust stand all right so let's see what it weighs and that's with the uh, 160 millimeters worth of wire so if you cut the wire smaller of course it's gonna Way less could be up to maybe a you know a half a gram maybe or a gram depending on how long you cut the wire. So it's about seven and a half grams uh, as it's uh, shipped from the factory. So now let's uh, let's check out the uh, thrust test. See how this motor does. Okay, so here we have this uh, large table of results for the thrust test on 3S and 4S. I wasn't sure what uh, voltage this motor would be best uh, with, so I just started with 3S. And uh, on 3S, uh, with the smaller 2-inch props, uh, it's not that uh, uh, impressive. But uh, as you go into the 3-inch props and these 2.5 uh, uh, 4-blade props, uh, these uh, these seem to be a pretty pretty good option here. Uh, you're we're getting in the mid uh, 200s, uh, 271 here for the uh, 3025. So that you know that that would be a uh, plenty of thrust for a light setup. Uh, where the motor starts to really shine is in 4S. So when we're using 4S, uh, the two and a half inch props, uh, as we can see, it's getting close to the 300 uh, gram mark so that that would be pretty pretty good uh, thrust though the amps uh, start to get a little bit uh, uh, start to get a little bit high and uh, on these last three props uh, I did notice the motor did get a little warmer than with the other props so so just a 
caution you know just make sure you if you're going to use this motor on 4s with these props uh, just check check the temps you know after a bit of flying so just to make sure it's not a uh, running way too hot so that's why i put this uh, this warning here but uh on 4s with a three inch prop uh, this motor gets uh, gets going pretty pretty well so uh so i i don't know how uh, uh how much of a of a shore it would be to run a, a small 4s prop uh battery i don't even know if they're available you know for these small uh, uh setups so but anyway, I just went ahead and tested it because of the uh, the low, sort of mid kV, I guess, uh, 5,100. So it seems that uh, uh, it seems that uh, yeah, this for this motor, I think uh, three inch prop on 3s, or pretty much any of these props on 4s, uh, is, you know, the the motor does pretty well uh, on 4s on, on on all these props. Uh, so there you go. That's a uh, kind of a large uh, table. Uh, you can just go ahead and compare all the results here. Uh, 3s is these first two rows, and 4s these last two right here. Uh, on the Excel spreadsheet, uh, it's gonna be kind of uh, confusing because I'll have uh, I don't know if I have a uh, uh, two separate files or the one file put together uh, I'll figure it out uh, so just uh, just check out the links anyway uh, thanks for watching and uh, until the next video I'll have a couple of other 1105 1106 motors uh, to test uh, so keep an eye out for those